there he is right there. I was just fixing to say I like a good long cast boy. He's a... Oh, any suggestions, boys? Put him down, let him see if he'll turn around. Come here, get him. <laughs> Got your catch up, big one! Holy crap! Deep undercover, that's what we're going after right here. Large mouth, going in where they live, hot summertime. Hey, they can't hide from us today on the G3 Sportsman. Down here in Texas with our good buddy Lonnie Stanley. He's going to put us on a lot of large mouth just like this and maybe even some bigger. So come on, go with us. Good fish right there. Nice fish. The G3 Sportsman is presented by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Just like any of us, when, the, when it's really, really hot, we go to cover. We try to get inside, get in out of the heat. It's the same way with bass, isn't it, Lonnie? Yeah, these, these fish will go into cover. They'll get into hiding, just like we do. So what we're going to do today, we're going to try to target some cover bass. We're going to go in and get in there right where they live and see if we can locate some of these bass. Down in the south, when it gets real hot, and in the 90s and 100 degree weather, you know, the moss starts growing up, the weeds and all kind of vegetation in all the lakes, especially the lily pads and the moss. And the bass is going to either do one of two things. They're either going to go real deep, which is they're hard to find, or they're going to concentrate it on to the moss beds. There's fish. That one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Well, I'll tell you what, he's. Fine, ain't he? he is stout, son. He's stout. That is a good one. First fish of the day. Just got him out of that cover. You can see all that. You can see all that grass. That was. That's a good one. That was all over him. Come here, boy. There you go. That's a good boy. Boy, they're just warm, honey. Just as warm as they can be. He wanted that. He wanted that top toad. Uh, there you go. Boy, they are. They're just, they're just as warm as they can be. But I, I bet you the water temperature is 92, 93. It's really warm out here, and that's what we're after. Good start right here. Nice little old bass. Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Bass. Boy, he was deep, deep in that cover. A bass likes to hide for two reasons. Or something can't find him, and the other reason is for he can find a bluegill or a perch or some kind of bait fish to eat. I'm a, there he is right there. I was just fixing to say, I like a good long cast. Boy, he's a, he's a fighter. Spit the frog off again, Lonnie. Hey, he's mean, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a big one. Come here, boy. You ain't that, you ain't that mean. I'm gonna do you this way. All right, he ain't no monster, but he ain't the frog. I like to do that good long cast out there. I like to cover a lot of a lot of ground out here. You can see what we're into right here and every bit of that stuff is just covered in grass and moss and stuff down there. More fish are just in there. He ain't a great big fish but I'll tell you what, he was aggressive. <laughs> Don't think in hot summertime they ain't aggressive because they are. Alright buddy. Thank you for the fun. Get on here, you gonna jump again? There you go. <laughs> This segment of the G3 Sportsman is brought to you by G3 Boats, Fioki Ammunition, Garmin, Berkeley, Food Saver Game Saver, Mossback Fish Rack, Abu Garcia, and Shakespeare. So Benz, I didn't know what color you did. Yeah, that ought, just, be a, that, ought to be, that ought to be enough color. That ought to be enough colors. <laughs> what do okay. you think? Okay. We'll just start right here. And we'll just screw him right in, just right in his nose. All screwed in. What are these new baits called, Lonnie? Top toads. Top toad. Okay, now, see he's got his double hook rig here. Now what you do, you don't run them through the legs. You just run him right through his, right back here, behind his butt. You can see the little, little space right there. You just lay them in there, just like that. And there's the top toad right there. I like covering a lot of ground, throwing, 
throwing this thing a long way. I cover a lot of territory with this rig that I'm fishing here. What I've got on here today, I've got the Abu Garcia. It's a new Veracity rod here. Just another one of the next generation V-series rods right here with that nanotechnology. Of course, it's a graphite rod and it's just as light. They make these rods now just as light as they can be, but just super strong. And uh, that's what you want if you're out here fishing all day and you're fishing like these top waters, making these long casts and everything. Man, it just wears your hands out otherwise. But, but with this nanotechnology and these lightweight rods, I'm gonna tell you something, Abu Garcia's hit a home run with these right here. And this is the Revo Rocket from Abu Garcia. Now they call it the rocket because this is nine to one. Yes, I said nine to one. That is super sonic fast right here. So when you, when you throw that frog out there and you want to get to the surface real quick, buddy, there he is right there. And I'm going to tell you, that is fun. That's fun right there because you can, you can get him on top of the water really fast. And that's what I like because I don't want it to get hung up in that grass, I want to run it right over the top of the grass. Come here, little feller. You just happened to just come in and right about the time I was talking about my, my gear. There you go, little turd. He didn't, uh, Messed up your... he didn't take my yeah. frog that time, but uh, yeah, nine to one, son. That is, have you ever heard of anything like that, Lonnie? Nine yeah. to one? Here it hit the water, it sounded like a uh -huh. bird or something alive. It, it don't sound like, a, and you just twitch it a little bit short and just, and just let it sit there, which is hard to do that after you run a ribbit for right, an hour. Right. Then sometimes they want it to run. There just, he is. Just like a ribbit. It's a there little you one. go. Sometimes you, they want it just like a ribbit. And you never you know. Don't, I don't know whether there may be some fish following him, just, just out of curiosity sake while, yeah. you're, while you're doing that. I'm just going to see. Come here, guy. That's one thing about that double take hook. You usually don't miss as many. They're yeah. not taking it real good today. And like I say, there's there's two or three ways you can fish it. You know, you could let it sit and then just barely barely twitch it, or you can do the twitch twitch and different you, little. I mean, it's just endless at how much you could do. Or you can just run it straight like a just, ribbit. Can't just you like just, a ribbit. Just throw it and. And, and just steady retrieve. But you know, to me, if you go out and try to find those deep fish, and the average guy's not gonna find those fish, it's, they're too hard, it's like a needle in a haystack. If you'll just take these frogs and your shallow water stuff and go into the heavy cover, and concentrate on that heavy cover and learn what you're doing. Fish the moss beds, like if it's got a point of moss, fish it like the point of the bank. If it's got a cove, it goes up in the moss, fish it like a cove, throw down the middle of it. No, not really. The gauntlet, the gauntlet, baby. Though there's one in there. Told you, right down the gauntlet. Ooh. Man, Lonnie, these fish are stout. Look at that dude jump. <laughs> I don't know I've ever seen them come up. Man, in the hot the summer time. The so many times. Hot summer time bass. <laughs> oh yeah. I want to know if you're gonna let me catch one or not today. Hot summer time bass. You're a guide, Leah. <laughs> hot summer bass. That's a good one there. Good fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> you bet you, man. Now, you talk about fun. You get out on a hot summer day, catch a nice bass like that. Just go in where they live, man. They're gonna be they're gonna be tucked around deep in that cover. You bet you. Good fish. Good little old fish right there. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Just fat and healthy. That's fun right there. Let's go back in there, buddy. Thank you for the fun. And I'll get to catch another one on my. Lonnie Stanley talk you usually to. Catch, you usually catch four or five on each frog before you. There we go. Pretty little dude. Now he's hollow. See, the difference between him and the ribbit frog 
this one's hollow, got a hollow body so he floats. See, I'll just chunk him right out there on the water. See how he floats? He just floats right there. How about that light rod? Isn't that light rod, that, that whole rig that you've got there with that veracity rod and that MGX, is that light or what? That's, Old guy like you can throw that all day long. That's the lightest rod and reel I've ever felt. It don't weigh anything. We was looking at some of the old all-star rods and old Garcia and Fluger stuff, the old stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about five-year-old stuff. And <laughs> compared to the brand new stuff, it's no comparison. Well, get out I there and get another. It is. Let's see how that compares. You ought to be able to get another one right in there. If you're going to catch fish in the hot summertime, you gotta, you got to go in there where they live. Oh, I know. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm having more fun watching you set the hook on him. Yeah, well, I got to try to get him out of behind that tree over there. That's a better fish there if I could just get him out of the tree. You got him. You got him out, don't you? That's one thing about the double take hook. It's, uh, if you don't run on the trolling motor. You better get him. I'm going to get him on, on this side. side now. Come here, gang. <laughs> you finally slung off my little frog. Come here, guy. Nice fish. <laughs> Scott's calling. My, look, see the two hook? That's why we use that double hook. Uh, you know, you're on a rivet or a top toad, either one of them. It's not just the south, it's the north too. You can go into Minnesota in the middle of July and August and September, and you got more what they call cabbage and milfoil and Alabama's got milfoil. It doesn't matter where you're at. You can be in Texas or New York, anywhere. It does not matter. These fish is gonna to go to this cover, and most of the fish is caught in tournaments and fun fish and all, especially in the middle of the summertime and early fall, is caught in the moss bed, some kind of cover. This segment of the G3 Sportsman is brought to you by Team Catfish, Tri Lakes Marine, Bug Soother, Hodgman, Flea Fly, Anchor Wizard, and by Yamaha. Thank you, Pat. Threw that into Louisiana. Golly! <laughs> that doesn't hit it. That's a good one there, Lonnie. A little bit better one. Oh, yeah. Look at that sucker jump, would you? I get him out of that moss bed he's in. Oh, that's a dang good one right there. Look at that fish jump now. Let me get over here and help you. Goodness gracious. Come here, here bring him over here. Let me get it for you. Go. Oh, he's just long and skinny. He's just long and I skinny. I saw his big old bucket. I wow. thought he was a six pounder. When you're out there and you're fishing this heavy cover, it be lily pads or hydrilla or, or cabbage, whatever it is, I like to use a medium heavy to a heavy rod. And I use some, you know, any kind of line. It's 20, 20 pounds and up. And I like to use some kind of braided line, 40 or 50 pounds. Because you got to remember, you get a fish on a frog or a jig or a worm, it don't matter. And that heavy cover, you gotta have the rod and reel heavy enough to get him out. Not only the line, but the rod and reel. The lightest rod I use is a six and a half to seven and a half foot medium heavy to a heavy rod. Oh, right by that old stick up right there. Just, just like that. Just like that. I never moved this top toe. It hit the water, I just let it sit. And man, I have got a mess coming up right here if I want it. Oh, <laughs> golly, what a mess, Lonnie. Oh, any suggestions, boys? Let him down, let him see if he'll turn around. When he runs down away, jerk him like hell. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> 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 That's pro tip number 273 there. <laughs> oh, learn that one right there. I tell you what, if you want to get these hot summer bass, you got to go in where they live. That's pretty you better have a strong rod and some stout line to pull them out of there. Beautiful, fish, huh? beautiful fish. Thank you, buddy. Woo, that wore me out. <laughs> So what do you got, about 75, 80 years of bass fishing experience? 
Oh, that's a good one. You hear that? Yeah. That See? was a good fish. See, that's that 75, 80 years of bass experience I was telling that you got. <laughs> Throw over that way, Scott. You ought to catch Holy! a big one. <laughs> that's the big one we're looking for. Holy crap. Hold on to him now. That's a good one. Golly. Oh, my. Lottie, I don't know if I'll be able to get him. He is going to beat me to pieces. I got. I don't know what to do. Go to the back. Just go to the back. There you go. God, he's under everything. I don't know. I got the boat going forward. Oh, I think he got me. I think he got me wrapped. On the boat? No, he come off. There he is. Here he comes. I got you out here in the middle now. Wow. What a fish. What a fish, Lonnie. Oh, that's a good one. Now, that's the one we've been looking for there now. That's a 10-pounder. Boy, man. I mean. I about fell out. Well, he, ain't fall quite, out. <laughs> he ain't quite 10. <laughs> but he's a big bucket mouth, rascal. That's what Look at that, boys. There, I'm going to tell you something. You want to catch some fun, nice, big, summertime, deep cover bass. This is the time to do it. We're in August right now. Dog days of summer, and these big boys. <laughs> Look at that, I'm gonna tell you what now. Put your hand in there. This spring, that bass would probably be 10 pounds, but that's a dandy. It's over right eight there. now. That's a good one right there. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> Man, you know you got some tough flies when they can cut the wind out here in Texas. Good lord. I missed a fish right there. Man, these things have been chewing me to pieces. I got something for their butts right here. Tell you something. I started using this right here in the green bottle, bug suitor. I'm gonna tell you, ain't gonna be no more bugs on me. Spray a little bit of that stuff on my on my ankles. Buddy, it ain't gonna kill them, but it'll keep them off of me. It's got a good lemony smell to it. There's no deed in it. All natural products and everything. I'll tell you what, bug suitor goes wherever I go in the spring and summer. Nothing ruins a fishing trip worse than the bugs biting. I'd rather have the fish not bite as the bugs bite. And they won't bite the bug suitor. You guys ought to try this right here. This should be in everybody's boat. Oh, Come yeah. back and there got you it. go. Come back and got it. A little sucker. Oh, he's a little bigger than you think. <laughs> Come back and got my frog after you missed it. Wrapped around that tree right there. Come on out of there, boy. Come on, man. Boy, he's hung solid as a rock right there, man. Hey, he's over there. I think you can get him, yeah. I'll get it's him. It's the hook that's hooked on it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> when you're fishing in the shallow water in the summertime when it's so hot, these fish are hiding in that grass for a couple reasons. They're, they're hiding away from other predators and also that's they're hiding away from the bait fish. And uh, a lot of times you have to either get right on top of them with a frog. Real early in the morning they're active, they'll chase a the frog. Then later on they're gonna go down in the moss. You either slow roll a spinnerbait over the top of it or a lot of times we'll take a jig and go through it. It's been a, just a, a fun day. I tell you what, I, I couldn't have had more fun and been with a better partner than our old buddy Lonnie Stanley. You know, that's all the time we got for this week's show. Hope you enjoyed it. Just remember, we'll be out there somewhere doing something next week, right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching. The G3 Sportsman has been brought to you by G3 Boats, a great catch. Pioki Ammunition, what's in your gun? Garmin, we'll take you there. Berkeley, catch more fish. Food Saver Game Saver, the number one vacuum sealer. Mossback Fish Racks, no matter how you stack them, we attract them. Abu Garcia, for life. Shakespeare, America goes fishing with Shakespeare. Team Catfish, number one in catfishing. Tri Lakes Marine, the biggest little G3 Yamaha dealer in the Midwest. Bug Soother, repel bugs naturally. Hodgman, forget the water, focus on the hunt. Flea Fly, innovation in fishing tackle since 1952. Anchor Wizard, no more hand over hand pulling. And buy Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Go!
Oh, did you get, you got him. He, you put it right back in the water and he hit it. He hit it again. Get in up. Whoa, my gosh, he jumped three foot out of the water for this thing. Scott's calling the shot. <laughs> hey, you that ain't very often, is it? No. But with the Revo rocket, each turn of the handle, you're bringing in 37 inches of line. 